Hello, and welcome to my evening routine in which I participate in soft cottagecore activities and basically enjoy my evening as if I was a Disney princess. Grab a cup of tea, get cozy, and I hope you enjoy. This evening routine begins around 6 p.m. as I wind down after work and take a short little tea break. Then I put on my favorite socks and get ready to head to my favorite place, the mountains, that are actually currently filled with spring fairies. Before leaving, I decided to pack a picnic that we could eat for dinner. We went basic today with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and watermelon. Before having our picnic, I found the prettiest meadow full of trees and flowers everywhere, and as I went to enjoy them, I was reminded of a quote that goes, enjoy the little things, for one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. It tasted delicious. <laughs> mm. It's so good. <laughs> Before we continue on to the rest of the evening routine, I think now is a great moment to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Birch. When living out my inner Disney princess, beauty sleep is especially important. Feeling well rested in the morning just makes life seem a bit softer and just easier to smile at the beauty of the world. So I'm super excited to partner with Birch for this evening routine video. Birch makes organic non-toxic mattresses made right here in America with just four materials sourced straight from nature. Organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. I love knowing exactly what it's made from and especially that it's made from all natural materials. Also, Birch is doing it right because each mattress comes with two of their eco rest pillows made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment and also so comfortable. It feels like sleeping with a cloud under my head. I love them so much. 
So we've had this mattress for about two months now and I can honestly say I'm sleeping better than I ever have before. Our old mattress always caused me to wake up with back or neck problems, but this birch mattress is so comfortable and I wake up feeling like a princess in a palace pretty much every single morning. It's also super easy to buy online. You don't need to go to a mattress store and they ship it right to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. And with your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried before, you get more than three months to make up your mind to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. I absolutely adore my Birch mattress. It's especially perfect for my Mamma Mia dance parties. <laughs> Having a good mattress for bouncing is very, very important. So if you're looking for a new bed, definitely check out Birch. You can click the link in the description box or go to birchliving.com slash darlingdesi for $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows. And now without further ado, let's continue on to the rest of the video. Once we've walked up to our favorite hill that always makes me feel like we're in the Sound of Music film, we usually spend some time looking for the perfect spot to set up our picnic. I got this basket from the thrift store and I think it's going to be our constant companion this spring and summer. The flowers are just starting to bloom here and everything smells so amazing. I don't know if anyone else thinks this, but these yellow flowers smell like chocolate to me. I don't really know why, but that's what I think of every time that I smell them. <laughs> okay, try for me, ready? Oh. <laughs> At this point, we decided to enjoy the weather and do a bit of reading. I think it's so cute because I think Jared noticed that sometimes the wind blew my hair in my face. And so you see him grab a hair tie out of my bag because he knows I'm always putting them in there. And he offered to braid my hair for me. You'll see, it's so cute. And he does such a good job, especially for someone who never really braids anything. After the sunset, we drove home and stopped at my favorite used bookstore. This is one of my happy places and I never leave here empty handed. They have so many beautiful classics and today they had some lovely editions of my favorite Ella Montgomery books. I decided on this charming edition of Sense and Sensibility. Mm -hmm. 
I love baking in the evening. There's something about it that just helps me wind down after a long day and plus nothing says cozy home like the smell of baking. I decided on chamomile sweet rolls today. I got the recipe from The Green Witch and I'll link her video and recipe down in the description box. I was watching the new Cinderella movie a few days ago, the one with Lily James, and I was reminded again why Cinderella is my favorite Disney princess. This quote by the narrator sums it up pretty perfectly. He says, Thus, as time went by, the chateau fell into despair, for the family fortune was squandered on the vain and selfish stepsisters, while Cinderella was abused, mistreated, and finally forced to become a servant in her own house. And yet, through it all, Cinderella remained ever gentle and kind, for with each dawn she found new hope that someday her dreams of happiness would come true. And I think that's something we can all relate to in one way or another. We've all been mistreated or taken advantage of in some way or at some point in time, but choosing not to hang on to that pain, to let it go and move on, to have hope for a better future, that's where we'll find happiness. And that's one of the reasons I just love Cinderella so much. I know that these probably aren't the best thing to eat in the evening before getting ready for bed, but you know what? If I died tomorrow, I would have maybe regretted not eating one, so I'm going to eat it and not feel guilty about it. So after the sweet rolls were finished, I put on the kettle to make some floral peach tea before heading to my room to press flowers and do a bit of reading by candlelight. It is late at night, and someone across the way is playing La Vie en Rose. It is the French way of saying, I am looking at the world through rose-colored glasses, and it says everything I feel. I have learned how to live, how to be in the world and of the world, and not just to stand aside and watch and I will never, never again run away from life. Or from love, either. I decided to treat myself tonight with a lavish bubble bath, complete with bath salts and some dried flower petals. If you don't play with the bubbles, you are seriously missing out on a simple joy in life. <laughs> Once I'm all washed up, I put on my nightgown. I found this one at my local thrift store. And I love that it transports me back in time. I always feel so elegant when wearing it. 
Then I wash my hands to prepare them for taking my makeup off and then I usually braid my hair because I find this is the best way to keep it out of the way while sleeping and I always tie a few ribbons in to finish off the braids. And then I just brush my teeth. Tonight I decided to do a face mask, so I lit my candles and got all cozy. I pulled back my hair and then realized that this mask is going to make me look like the Wicked Witch of the West. It did feel so nice though, I love when I make time to pamper my skin. I did a bit of reading while waiting for it to dry and then rinsed it off with a damp cloth. At this point, it's just after midnight and the last thing I do is read a chapter of whatever book I'm currently reading. I find this is the best way for my mind to slow down and kind of de-stimulate. Lastly, I blow a quick kiss to the moon and the stars because I love them, and then blow out my candles and prepare to head off to dreamland. Thanks so much for watching, friends. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.